Hey guys, welcome back. This is Rowena. It's Felicia. And today we're coming at you guys with another <laughs> review type video since you guys seem to love it. But this time we thought we'd do a discovery, mm. specifically Asia skincare Asia. beauty discovery from yeah. Japan to Taiwan to Korea. And within the five, there's <laughs> more. Five times five. Yay! Yeah, so like we're not gonna show you all these now. Closer, closer, closer. But <laughs> we will actually, get to it. Yeah, there's a bunch of like really awesome Korean brands in there that are like specially curated because we get sent a lot of things and we want to discover it and try it on with you guys. And some of these we have tried a little bit, but not all of it. So I think it's a cool way for us all to like explore together skincare like friends do, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so grab your cup of coffee, matcha, whatever it is that you want, put on some warm fuzzy socks because it's the time of the year if you're on the <laughs> northern hemisphere <laughs> and you're freezing so we're gonna go one by one so shall we start with let's start with here and work our way here yeah. so the first one is this super cute it's called peach slices which is actually the sister brand of peach and lily which is based in new york actually she was founded by alicia yoon who was like an aesthetician and so this whole skincare brand is based on like you know skincare or k-beauty should be fun but accessible it shouldn't be too overpriced and you should like have fun with your face mask with super cute packaging so but with here, also top-notch ingredients that are gentle enough and super effective and the thing is we listen to you guys everyone's like more affordable skincare more yeah. affordable skincare these are all actually available at cvs or at the drugstore so what do we have here let's start with the i think these masks are probably the the talk of the talk of the town talk of the town <laughs> let's uh just show you guys bing bing all right that one that's the lilac crystal brightening peel off mask so the peel off mask is like you apply it wait 10 minutes and then you can like rip the whole sheet off your face and then it turn your whole face turns into this metallic sheen and it comes in brightening which is this purple color there's brightening there's clarifying with charcoal and there is hydrating with water crystals Ooh, that matches what we're wearing <laughs> It does. Wow, that's so pretty. So this purple one has lilac extract, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, peptides, and diamond power. Wow. What's diamond <laughs> what is power? that? Alicia, what's diamond power? <laughs> diamond power. <laughs> and it's for brightening and firming. So yeah, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, one's for brightening and one's for moisture. Mm. Whoa, that's so metallic. I used to have a nail polish this color and I thought I was really cool and now I look at it and I'm like, why? Who am I? Yeah. Okay, so in the one that Rowena has, the blue one. Whoa, this looks like the galaxy. Oh my it's gosh, it's so black. Oh, you actually leave it on for 20 minutes. So the blue one Rowena had has blueberry, hyaluronic acid, lotus, sika. Wow, wow, that's like jet black. This reminds me of the Bosha, mm. but it's a little bit more metallic -y and shiny. Bing, bing. It's like yeah. the galaxy on my hand. You look like a whale here. These are so pretty. Okay, so those are the three masks, but you tried this one and then yes. did you feel like it was brightening? I feel like all masks after you do it is like brightening. So apart from the mask, while we wait for that to dry, there's also this Starlit Glow Strawberry and Collagen Highlighting Moisturizer. So this is really cool. It looks like it's a moisturizer, but it's got an illuminator kind of mixed into it. You know that opal yes. kind of glow? So do you see it? It's like, whoa, it's like iridescent. Pearl. Iridescent. Yeah, that's the word. Pearly. Yeah, look, it's pink. Whoa. It's, it goes on white, but then when you blend it, it turns pink. Yeah. So this is what an illuminator under your foundation actually does. So this is like two in one. And I thought it was really cool because it's really lightweight. Like it's almost watery. So what this does is kind of helps your makeup look like it's got a soft focus look. Um, it's like blurred and it looks really healthy. You know that summer glow? That dewy glass skin Lit look that everyone thing. wants. So then we have this peach pudding makeup cleanser. So this is like, what do you call it? A makeup balm, mm. um, makeup removing balm. But it's not like thick and waxy like balms. It's kind of like- It's like moisturizer. Shea butter. <laughs> 
Yeah, it kind of just looks like moisturizer. So this one also has a really subtle scent. I love this packaging for some reason. It's just like so nice to look at. All of these packaging. Yeah. And I think, you know, now with everyone and like their shelfies, yeah. This is like perfectly made for that. Speaking of, yay, they're popsicles. So this one's blueberry ice cream sheet mask, which firms and revive. This one's pineapple and it clarifies and calms. This is strawberry for brightening and soothing. And this is the mango popsicle for hydrating and glowing. I feel like overall with a lot of these K-beauty sheet masks, they generally all do what they claim to do. It's like hydrate the skin. Because I'm always interested interested in like what the actual sheet texture is. You know how different brands have different like texture cotton? Oh, so I, I slapped it all to the end. So these don't come with the plastic sheets? In between. Yeah. Which I kind of, I don't know. How do you feel about them? I appreciate those without. Okay, so I don't like, think I need it. Yeah, I feel like the more cotton ones don't need it, yeah. but the more, you know, the Shelly. coconut gel yeah. they are, the more sensitive they are, then it needs that separating sheet. Smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells like that tea that you drink as a kid in the box. The Asian tea. Which tea that you drink in a it's box? Like, it's like chamomile tea. Mmm. Oh, I feel like it's a waste. There's blueberry, there's banana. I think it's supposed to smell like blueberry. Make sure you only use it for the time that's said, which is about 15, 20 minutes. Because if you leave it on more than that, it will start sucking out the moisture that it put in. Yeah. <laughs> Pricing wise, these are $3.50. This is $10, this is $11, and this one is $8. So they're all really affordable. Go crazy. And they do have international shipping to some countries, most countries. Next is this Clot App Meiji Face Mask. Face? face mask. Getting too excited. My people's mask. So initially I thought this was a mask made by a filter camera, those like beautifying camera mm. apps. But my friend read the whole packaging for me and looked into the brand and they're like, no, it's more so like if you use this face mask, it'll be as if you, you have, have a, a filter. natural filter on your face. So the cool thing about this is you put it on for two hours. It's two hours, okay? <laughs> two hours. And what it does is it draws out all of your impurities so that you can, you know, okay. Ow. It reminds me of, you know, the pimple patch? Yeah. When you put it on your pimple. The hydro, the hydro, blah, 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 pimple stickers. Yeah. And you know how like the day after it is just like, there's like a white, mm juice or like white stuff. Yeah, it takes out all the moisture from the pimple. Yeah, so this doesn't take the moisture from the pimple, but it takes the sebum and all the oils and the dirt and the grime from your pores. And you can see wow. like... Look how huge this mask is. Oh my gosh. There's papaya enzyme, which is really good for brightening. Oh, it's got aloe, calendula. Calendula is really great for like soothing. Oh, and the papaya enzyme is the first ingredient. Yeah. And like the most prominent That's ingredient. Crazy so it's very... Normally natural yeah. it's a lot more natural like and then there's olive oil seaweed extract so this is actually pretty legit so what you do is you put this on your face for i'd say an hour to two hours it really depends and when you're ready to take it off because it will dry and it might get a little wrinkly you're supposed to spray your face mist your face with water so that it rehydrates and you can take it off and then you soak it in water, you submerge it in water for about a minute. And use it again. No, and when you take it out, you'll see all the white, Ew. the impurities. You see all of it. Oh my God. So I mine to was it. very heavy here and here. Dirt, oil, all the nasty. Dirt, I'm sold. Oh. I told her to use this the day I got it. Yeah, but it was like two hours <laughs> and I'm like. It's pretty new, so it's harder to find. There are a few sellers on eBay, and generally, these are a little on the more expensive side. It's $30 per box, and it comes with three, so use it wisely. Yeah. But it's also interesting that this is from Taiwan, because you don't really think of Taiwan as a place where it's like, innovative skincare. It's more like, night slowly. market chicken. Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> or like, boba naita. For those of you, it's like bubble milk tea. And I just said stinky tofu. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Claude Meiji app face masks. <laughs> okay, so before we move on, let's peel these face masks off because if you break it, it has you to buy come me off. Boba. Okay, it has to come off in one. Aw, oh, it's not completely dry yet, but ha ha ha. 
Oh, that's pretty Woo! good. Woo! Bing, 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 bing. Next, they're both face washes. They're from different companies, but they're both from Japan. Okay, so this one I know of or seen of because it's been like the top rated Japanese face wash product for like a really long time. They're like mini Tide Pods. They're for the beauty cleanser powder from Kanebo. So Kanebo is also a really popular Japanese brand that you don't really see much of here. Like I have a makeup brush from them and it's smoothest brush I Use have. your words. <laughs> the sad thing I feel like with Japanese beauty and skincare is that I feel like they're just like overshadowed yeah. by K-beauty, but their stuff is so good. Like so good. SK2. So what you do is you open this little, little package, you pour it onto the palm of your hand. And then you put it in the coffee machine. Yeah. <laughs> or you throw it in the laundry because it's like a miniature Tide Pod. Um, no, but you add water to emulsify it and it turns into this very creamy, soft, like baby soft foam froth thing that you just clean your face with. And it is recommended that if you have problematic areas, like if you're pores or if you're, you have blackheads, you can focus on, you know, your chin or your T-zone. And what this does is it really helps clean out your pores, which is why I love it. Because my pores are getting kind of gross. You guys can't tell because it's the lighting. But yes, this does a really great job at clearing out your pores. This specific um, product, Vertical is inspired by water, which is the source of life, like the essence of our existence. And there's also tofu extract and roller jelly, which both help brighten the skin. So this is seriously a powerful punch that you can use as the second step of your double cleansing. So it's called the Beauty Clear Powder. Check it out. And then there's this Transino Clear Wash Cleanser. For Transino, they're also one of the more reputable skincare brands in Japan and also available at drugstores. So, oh, these are drugstores. I feel like all Japanese cleansers like this texture. Super foamy. And it's silky. Yes. yes. My mom actually told me she watched this like, I don't know, Korean or Japanese beauty channels sure on YouTube. And she was saying how the proper way to wash your face is to first foam either with soap or with any of these cleansers on your hands, which is what these recommend. First foam on your hands and use the foam to wash your face. Mm. Less about like using fingers to like because yeah. I feel like that's what I do. But you gently use the foam to breathe. Because I think like they, they're worried you, yeah. it's too much motion on your face. And so like, if you do that every day, two times a day, you're actually like dragging down your skin. <laughs> so this facial wash has actually, it's so good that it's been awarded the best facial wash product by Cosme, which is kind of like the most esteemed beauty award in Japan. Kind of like the Allure Beauty like sticker that you see on all those really popular skincare brands. So this is like top cleanser. So what really sold me on this when I was Googling what beauty, what J Beauty products to buy when I was in Japan was that it is a medicated cleanser that helps remove sunspots and freckles and mm, helps brighten your skin. So I was like sold <laughs> and it, it does whiten, it does brighten. So this contains about 50% of moisturizing. moisturizing cream. Yeah, so it doesn't leave your skin dry or stripped or just not feeling great at all. Mm. Which is always a good sign because because if it's like dry and stripped, you're actually compromising your skin barrier. And so you like want to get more gentle cleansers like this one. And then we got the monster. Woo! So here we have a, a case, case full, full of salt. salt. Isn't that so punny? Yeah. So case travel case. I was saying this is probably like the most travel friendly, but at the same time, the most not travel friendly because it's like, in a travel suitcase, but it's so huge. <laughs> it's massive. But can we just appreciate the packaging? It's, it's like so an actual suitcase. I've By the way, you guys like can get this at Costco online. Yes. Yes. Okay, so basically the brand is Amma, which means mother um, if you guys like watch. Amma. 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 Yeah. So <laughs> then um so they curated a bunch of these skincare products that are the essentials to Korean skincare. 
So in here, there's actually 10 different products, but we think it was really cool to add into this first like episode because it kind of sums up everything that we're trying to do. So basically they do the exploring and discovering for you. Yeah. So Oma went through a lot of mom. Mom went through a lot of trouble <laughs> to source all of these. No, but they wanted their first skincare case, um, case of sold to be- To a, represent. Yeah, to really represent everything that Seoul and K-beauty is, but also they wanted to source products that are good for all skin types mm. and products that work well in tandem with each other. Yeah. I think this is a really interesting way, a really cool way to step into it, just yeah. like in one deep end kind of. <laughs> and the goal of it is also that that's why right here you can see like daily use mm -hmm. like so daytime use nighttime routine weekend routine yeah it's really cool because like you know how the korean skincare re regime has like 10 steps or whatever and people are really confused they just like lay it all out nighttime daytime weekend pamper <laughs> it's like set out there so what we not know? sponsored not sponsored nothing is sponsored in yeah. here <laughs> so let's start with the first which is the cleanser we have this rice foaming cleanser we actually both use this and oh my god it is i fell in amazing. love it's so good okay it's it says micro ground rice powder so it has as a physical exfoliant but because the actual cleanser is so like plush I don't know how you describe it you don't actually feel the rice on your skin like it's not abrasive yeah so you know how generally when you have physical exfoliants you can feel like the giant pebbles of yeah. whatever it is that's like rubbing your skin but for the rice it's so microscopic that you feel like little little grains are just very gentle on your skin and the rice with the rice water which is in here is very hydrating and it helps brighten your skin like what we talked about in our japanese mm. traditional japanese skincare routine video yeah. how they used to use rice water they just like would cook rice use the water that you wash it with and use that as either a toner or like to wash your face and so rice has actually a lot of beneficial like skincare qualities so make sure you wash that video if you're more interested in like how rice works on your skin and next it is the may coop raw sauce or the toner emulsion essence yeah so this is all in one three things in one and it's made up of 93 percent maple tree sap the structure is similar to the moisture molecules of our normal skin so i guess it just like replenishes it in a really like natural way so you guys might be thinking why would i want to slap maple syrup on my face yeah. it actually does not mimic maple syrup at all yeah so actually when i first used this it's actually you can tell that it's not just a toner because it's much thicker the consistency is very unique <laughs> It's not completely watery, but it's not sticky either. And I think the best thing about this is it smells so good. It's like I'm walking in the middle of a giant forest. It's a humectant, which means it is hydrating. It restores or keeps the moisture and draws moisture. So yeah, I don't know why they have two of them in there. Maybe. I think it's because its toner is recommended to be used day and night. So they want to give you enough mm. to make sure you don't run out. So they also have this moisturizer, which is also in the pack. It's like a gel moisturizer. I don't know if this is thick enough for you, but it's definitely my type of moisturizer. This moisturizer plus the face oil that they gave, I used this whole set this morning and I was just like, oh my god. Wow. This sinks in really quickly to the skin. I also really like the smell, but I don't know if it's fragrance because it smells really good. <laughs> because it's like in between a gel and like a normal moisturizing consistency, I think it suits probably all skin types. This comes with a pamphlet that explains every single every product, product very thoroughly, yeah. and it's great for people with dry and sensitive skin as well. Next, we have the 107 Secret Formula Coflex Essential Liquid. Work them, but work the car. <laughs> so this is a toner. Essence. Essence. Essential mist. Essential mist. So the brand is 107, and it's because their family has 107 secret formulas that have been passed down from their family for the past 35 years as like traditional folk remedies for your skin. So specifically mm. for this one, it is 100% fermented vinegar for seven years, mm. and it also contains seven amino acids that are really good for your skin for acne, hyperpigmentation. 
any skin concern. That kind of just sounds like apple cider vinegar. Yeah. And I feel like compared to something like the Avion water sprays, oh. it's a lot more hydrating and it's a lot more convenient. Or even the quarterly like spray mist, yeah. right? I think I feel like the packaging is so cute because it's kind of that traditional yeah. passed history, down generation family tree. <laughs> and then you have your serum essence, straight up serum from Oorang. So the name Oorang stands for ultimate radiant and natural glow. glow. Natural, natural glow. glow. Yeah. So I guess this is something that you're more like used to seeing. This is the True Rose Repair Essence with organic rose floral water, 50%. Actually, a lot of these things that we're mentioning, we like tried in our traditional Japanese yeah. skincare rituals. Rose water is a really popular, um, it's not an ingredient, but it's like method. You soak it, you use it. So the Bulgarian rose is known for its anti-inflammatory, anti-acne. It also gives a cooling effect to calm down redness and re-energizes sensitive skin. So once again, all the products in this like pack are designed for any and all skin types. And actually the consistency is kind of like, sounds gross, but like mucus. In a good way. In a good way. Yeah, it's actually, it's very hydrating. Very hydrating mucus. Mucus. I mean, like a, now I'm like uh, no, but a very new skincare uh, ingredient is snail mucin. Mm. This kind of reminds me of that. You know the sludge that they leave behind. <laughs> I just imagine snails crawling through my face. And then we have Oorang Facial Oil. Mm. How cute is this? So this is their Vitamin Oil Serum. Rosehip Oil, Rose, Lavender, Mir. Ooh, okay, so we just did a whole video on- um, Oils. Oils, facial I don't oils. Know if that will be first or next, but it's gonna be there. Um, but jojoba, rosehip, really, really good for anti-inflammatory and also for acne, but also for hydrating dry skin. Like all these oils are the bomb. <laughs> it's good for you, it's yeah. great for you. <laughs> so even though it does say vitamin oil serum, it is a facial oil, so use it in the last step of your routine. If you ever get confused, you can check here. There's the steps. Cleanser, toner, essence, serum, eye cream, moisturizer, facial oil. Yeah. Okay, next up. How cute is this packaging, by the way? It's like a syringe. Hey. It's very thick and hydrating. Whoa, it's it like is. super thick. It's, it's so like butter. not, yeah, it's, it's like butter. It's like butter, but not oily. Eye cream is one of those things that it shouldn't be said that you need it. You just have to have an eye cream <laughs> because the skin under your eye doesn't have pores. So it doesn't have oils to hydrate it, which is why it gets wrinkles. This is also wrinkle free eye solution. And it also is the thinnest skin on your face and body actually. So you have to hydrate it even more because it can't take care of itself. Help me. Because <laughs> where wrinkles form if you do like tug at it. So next, primer. If skin is not happy and if you do need to fill in your pores and fill mm. in impurities and things you want to cover up. I don't know about you, maybe because you don't wear a lot of makeup anyway, but ever since I started wearing foundation, I always wear primer because it's kind of the barrier um, that keeps the foundation from really like sinking into your pores. Normally, there's primers with silicon in it that help to blur over pores, over fine lines, and that's what like creates the canvas that it's really smooth. This one has silicone. So yeah. if you are allergic to silicone, which I know a lot of people can be, this is not for you. But if you're not, this is amazing. This is definitely not like your average silicone primer. primer. This is very runny for a primer. It's like Yo. velvety, but juicy and hydrating. Oh my God. Okay, this is definitely for dry skin. When, okay, so, so you can actually get this at Sephora too. When I went into the store maybe like a few weeks ago, it was in one of the aisles, like the highly recommended mm. um, like K-Beauty Discoveries. Yeah. And I put it on my hand and just when I smeared it out and compared the two hands, cause my hands are pretty wrinkly as you could tell from the, the peel off earlier. <laughs> it completely, it just, it turned into normal skin. Mm. And I was like, wow, I must get this. And it comes in this kit. And in the formula, there's actually a special sebum controlling ingredient. So it helps to balance your oils as they come out through the day. And so it won't look like a slick oily mess. It will look more like an inner glow. <laughs> and there's also green tea extract as well as solube collagen, which helps give your skin this like velvety perfect canvas for you to mm. apply whatever else you need to apply on top of it. So you put primer on after you moisturize and before your foundation. Ding! 
And then we have sunscreen and face mask. You can definitely tell this is an Asian sunscreen because only Asian sunscreen sun has cream. sun cream has 50 plus SPF. Look at it too. Hmm? Whoa! <laughs> what is it? And it's it? not white. Ooh, it's like um, a tinted. So it looks like it's tinted, but when you actually use it, it's not really tinted at all. Ooh, the consistency is nice. Yeah, so the consistent. The thing about Korean sunscreens, I just feel like the formulation, it's they're all relatively consistent. It's mm. not, there's no white films. It doesn't, you know, it's not gunky. It's not super goopy or sticky, which I really appreciate. And then they're Light, all lightweight. Lightweight, mm -hmm. it's good under makeup. If you're gonna do primer, you wanna put Moisturizer, sunscreen, primer, foundation. And then there's also this all-in-one concentrate treatment mask. So this is one step within the 10-step routine. That's mm. why it's, there's so many steps. Yeah. There's vitamin C, niacinamide. Oh, and there's Those pearl powder. Awesome. Pearl powder, I know, is like for brightening. Mm. Yeah. Vitamin C also it. brightening. Niacinamide also brightening. So we both haven't tried this yet, but from reading the reviews, it's not groundbreaking. Like it doesn't change your skin, but mm -hmm. it's worth using. That's everything that you get. So you get two of these and two of these and eight other products. Mm -hmm. That's value for money, my friend. Thank you Costco for stocking this. Out of all places, I wouldn't have expected Costco to be a retailer of Korean beauty. Did you actually know that they sell a lot of discounted K-beauty goods on their website? I had no idea until I started researching Wait, about Amum. Membership? And then sometimes you need a membership to buy stuff, but yeah. for this, it's not under that. Like specific oh. items, you need a membership card, but yeah. this isn't, so you can just buy it online. Guys, if you want to like, Foray, foray into, into the into beauty K and you have $150 to spare. That's not like, okay, I'm not saying that's not even much, but like as <laughs> if that's really good You're value. You're getting a bang for your buck because all of these are full size products. Like you don't need to buy anything else, people. Hope you guys enjoyed this beauty discovery. So I guess we'll keep continuing these videos as we get more products as they come in. And as you guys recommend them for us as well, because a lot of these things, it's, you know, we scour the internet or yeah. we look through the comments and sometimes you guys give really good recommendations. So if there's something that you've been using and you've been loving, it has been a game changer for you, please let us know down below. This is a little bit different from like our review, yeah. um, like mainstream brands. This is more about like up and coming, yeah maybe like smaller, but you should know. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know what was your favorite, what you were most excited about. But for the time being, if you haven't seen our review, we'll leave it right here. Yeah, here somewhere. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> See you guys next time.